How Neurofeedback Improves Sleep. I'm Dr. Trish Lee. Let me tell you how. So I just got done making a video on sleep and how it is disrupted by stress, anxiety, and especially by adding electronic use to the stress and anxiety of your day, or especially if you struggle with anxiety disorders. Okay, so you can check that video out for more information on how the sleep cycle and circadian rhythms are are messed up by anxiety and the use of electronics. Here, I want to tell you what you can do about it using neurofeedback. So neurofeedback is holistic, all natural, doesn't put anything into your brain. It simply teaches your brain to make more of perfect processing speed in the middle, and I'll explain that in a second, in the middle for calm focus. When you struggle with anxiety, what happens is your brain makes much too much of the extra fast brain processing speed called high beta. And when your brain is making all of this high beta, it gives you feelings of anxiousness, you're triggered, you react instead of respond, you feel like you need something to calm you down, like the use of your electronics, like a drink, like a nap, you feel overwhelmed, which makes your brain make more of this extra slow speed of overwhelm and boredom and exhaustion and fatigue. So what happens to so many people is their brain is making speeds and using primarily the speeds out here in the extreme. Lots of extra fast speed, lots of extra slow speed. So the key to success is bringing the use of these speeds in the extremes down and popping up perfect processing speed in the middle for calm focus. And the way that neurofeedback can do that is it rewards your brain through auditory and visual feedback when your brain is making more of this perfect processing speed in the middle called alpha and low beta. When your brain starts making theta too slow of speed, that will give you brain fog, make it difficult to focus, make you distracted, make you get off purpose. And when your brain's making this very fast speed, high beta, which makes you feel anxious and rumination, hypervigilance, what happens is if you're using the speeds out here in the extremes, your brain gets negative feedback, not a punishment, negative feedback through the auditory and visual channels. So what does that look like in a practical sense? So if you are doing a neurofeedback session in my office or using home neurofeedback, you can, it's all individualized and personalized. What happens is you can watch YouTube videos. And when you're watching a video or a movie, the screen plays bright and the audio plays loud when your brain is in the zone and making more of that perfect processing speed. Now, if your brain goes out of this zone and it starts using stress anxiety mode or it starts using boredom, overwhelm, distracted mode, what happens is your screen goes dim and the audio goes low. And over time, your brain is learning. So I use a lot of analogies to help people understand this. The analogy I use is if you were learning to play a piano and you were playing the keys and you hit the wrong key, you would hear the wrong note and you would see that your finger was on the wrong key. It's visual and auditory feedback to help you correct your piano playing so that you do it better next time. So when you're learning to play the piano, you need to count on your mind and your body to be able to course correct that. When you're doing neurofeedback, the feedback is to your brain. So your brain receives feedback on its own performance. You don't even have to pay attention to it. That's why it works so well. So when your mind is engaged and you're watching a show or a movie or a video clip, the goal is to relax your mind as much as possible so it becomes as neuroplastic as possible. When your brain becomes neuroplastic, now it's more pliable and changeable, and it will change based upon the feedback that it's receiving from the neurofeedback 
system and it is a beautiful thing. So when you do home neurofeedback through a professional office like mine at Libre and Spine, it is individualized, personalized. We can choose the sites in your brain that need to be worked. We can individualize the protocols and do exactly what your brain needs to be able to facilitate those speeds. But there's also a piece of technology out there called the Muse headband. It's a brain sensing headband. It has one protocol in it and it trains the frontal lobe and the temporal lobes above your ears. But the beauty of it is most people's frontal lobes need speed improved. So it's a really great start for you to be able to decrease anxiety and to offset the way that electronic use impacts your brain. So if you watch the other video I made, you'll see that when you are using your electronics, you are ramping your brain's speed up in that extra fast speed, which then comorbid compensatory strategy of ramping up the slow speed. So when you engage with the Muse headband, you bring these speeds down and on a daily basis, you could be offsetting the impact of electronic use on your brain. It's an awesome tool. In the description, I'm going to put a link where you can get 15% off your Muse headband, making it usually at the time of this recording, it's $249 in the US, it makes it $212. It is such a beautiful product that you can use on a daily basis with no support at all if you don't wanna work with anybody. But of course, if you'd like support in that journey, I'm here for you. You can go to my webpage at drtrishley.com I have neuro coaching where I can pull up your brain graphs from either home neurofeedback that's individualized or from your Muse headband. And I can give you brain-based strategies built on neuroscience to be able to facilitate your brain performance using your graphs, using data. It's totally awesome. People love it. So go over to my website and check it out. And remember, control your brain or it'll control you.